No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No peace. This the protest? Yeah, this is a protest. Funky Fresh. Hey, yo, check it out. I brought supplies. That's dope, man. Did you, did you bring like water or maybe like milk for the tear gas? Nah, better than that. I brought Electro Rock. And check it out. If they chase us, I got that rope. I'm gonna be like, peace out. You know, if, you feel me? And what does that do? I think they're gonna shoot you first. Shit, and if they did, I'd be like, bullet in the belly, you feel me? Uh, uh, uh. Could you like maybe protest like far away from me? Check it, I'm gonna protest like this, check it. Black, you know, like big penis. Lives matter. Yeah, I didn't get that matter part. Nobody does, and that's why we protesting today. Just stop, all right? Look, please, you're gonna go out and get yourself killed with that shit. Don't you ever underestimate funk in the power of rhythm, young blood. Now watch me work. Watch me now. Watch me now. Watch me now. Watch me You know what? Finally, I agree with something the cops did. Couldn't look away from the train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Check These Buttons. It is Thursday. We are back. The week is going on, man. I want to thank you guys for staying with us and showing all the massive love to me and my family, man. We got so much in store. Of course, we got the hot topics and we got these hot clips and we got to check it all just for y'all. Ladies and gents, let's go. All right, and now into the first set of buttons that need to be checked. As you may or may not know, just yesterday, Evo said, guess what, y'all? It's time to register for Evo Online. It looks like it goes live this Friday, which is June 5th. Right here, they said, the US, Canada, Mexico, Japan, South Korea, and Europe. Competitors can enter, for, you can actually enter for free in one or more of the following tournaments. They list it right here. So right here, they listed Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, how you like me? now skull girl second encore and them fighting herds and right here this is actually kind of cool they say they're partnering with project hope and to those that contribute 25 dollars or more you're going to receive a commemorative uh online evo badge all contributions ladies and gents all contributions will be donated to project hope global COVID 19 relief down below they say all open tournaments will conclude on july 31st through august 2nd i'll post the links down below to see if you want to register and all the information i'll post it in in the description field below. Now it comes down to a question of the regions, right? Like we were reading earlier, a lot of people are like, well, can I enter? Like what regions qualify and which ones don't exactly? They post this saying, Evo Online has three regions. Region one, USA, Canada, Mexico. Two, Japan, South Korea, and three, Europe. Unfortunately, we can't include many countries outside of these regions due to laws and regulations. And of course the FGC reacts. A lot of people are, a lot of people are sad because they were hoping that this would be their first Evo. Even if it's online you know a lot of people have never been to evo so they're like well this would be cool even if we could do it you know something that's not actually in person but something that's just online but because it's 
there's only these regions that are allowed, whether it's net code or gambling laws and whatnot, you know, people are still gonna mess out. So a lot of people are, a lot of people are down. And they don't stop there. Mr. Wizard actually answers some questions. People are like, what about the refund money that we spent to attend EVO 2020? Do we still get our refund? He said, refunds have been going out. They should all be processed by next week. There you have it. We are that much closer to EVO Online actually happening. Can you believe it, man? It's actually happening. EVO Online and the registration opens up this Friday. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do it or not. But then again, I play Street Fighter V and that's not really in the list. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe I can get down to some MK11, but I think I just get bopped really quick. Might not be worth it for me. But as for you, if it's worth it, if you if you get down to Skullgirls or MK11 or Killer Instinct or anything like that, do it. Why not? Just do it. All right, and now into the next set of buttons that need to be checked. As you know, there is a lot of controversy going on right now. Uh, protests and whatnot. We talked a lot about this in a previous video a couple days ago. Um, there's big companies out there that are making statements, right? Uh, a lot of companies, surprisingly, like a lot of game companies, you're talking like Nintendo and whatnot, making stands. They're actually, you know, saying we support this movement. We support black lives, which is really cool, right? A lot of people can get behind that and appreciate it. Um, other companies, not so much because they have like a, I would say like a kind of like a bad reputation or people have a bad taste in their mouth from previous years when it comes to topics like this. So now that they're making statements like we also support this movement, a lot of people are calling bullshit. Like for one, on one hand, the NFL. The NFL was like, we support this movement and stuff like that. But they were like, oh, okay, well, where were you when uh, Kaepernick was trying to do it and be silent and just taking a knee? And y'all were like, people were like leaving the game. They were, I remember the Dallas Cowboy coach. He was like, none of my players are gonna do it. Like people were like really raising a fucking fuss, burning his jersey jerseys, like uh, boycotting Nike, all from a silent protest. But anyway, like I said, I ain't gonna get into all that shit right now, but I'm saying NFL is, is one of the companies right now or one of the mega organizations making a statement where people are kind of calling bullshit. Twitter, not Twitter, what the hell am I? Twitch. Twitch is another one that I noticed. This was just the other day. They actually posted this. Black people have been suffering under the oppressive weight of racism in America for far too long. We cannot delight in the creative contributions of the black community on Twitch and remain silent when they are in pain. We're asking you to come together and stand up for black lives, whether it's through your time, treasure, or talent. Don't let today's injustice stop us from creating a better tomorrow for our community. And as you can imagine, people are reacting. You got one half that's just like, yo, real thank you for making this statement, but you got a lot of other people calling bullshit. If you're familiar with Twitch, which if you're watching this channel, I'm pretty sure that you are, a lot of people have been trying to get certain streamers banned as of recent or even report them because they've been racist. They've been like openly saying the N-word or openly being racist towards black people or just people in general, and they've They've looked at Twitch like Twitch hasn't really been doing their job. They've just kind of been turning a blind eye. Jay White continues that train of thought right here. He says, this will be believable when high profile creators start getting banned for fostering toxic communities and allowing racism, as well as creators that have used racial slurs and being actually held responsible. The fact that racial slurs aren't even being blocked from all chats is strange. And as of right now, I didn't see that Twitch actually responded to all those comments. I mean, I don't think that they would, you know what I'm saying? Like, but real talk, I think they have a point. The people that are saying these things, they have a point because they're like, yo, if, if you're gonna make this stance, if you're really about the movement and supporting Black Lives Matter, especially when it comes to the topic of being racist, why can't we do some updates? So once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the love. We are gonna get through this man stronger and better in the end. And we'll see you today is what? Friday, so we're gonna see you Saturday afternoon around two or three Central Standard Time. This Saturday, y'all, see you soon. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. And this.